Everyone has their place in the world, and everyone has a story. This is the story of an actor. My name is John. I'm an actor. A sexy one. <laughs> anyway, I'm an acting instructor on the side. Well, at least till things pick up with the acting. I mean, it's hard to be an actor in this day and age. There's like a million actors out there. But don't tell these kids. Don't want to shatter their dreams, you know? Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Okay, I'm gonna stop you. Okay. Good. Very good. Uh, just have a seat. Bad. Bad. <sighs> Acting can't be fake, it has to be real. When you get into character, you project a new persona that is still you, only not the real you. Hmm? Oh, wow, huh, look at the time. Okay, have a good day. Hey champ, another long two hour day? Oh, you look hungry, bud. Help yourself to a cookie. The Cyclops made them. <laughs> Jessica. Guys, don't make fun of her, she's a great girl. With the smoke and bod. <laughs> I guess you should have just said one. What happened to my lunch? That's your problem with being an actor. You have to leave your schedule open for auditions. Which means you can't work a full-time job. Which means you have to be creative with some situations. <laughs> Do you think you can begin? Ah! God damn it! You think I traveled 10,000 miles for this? Open the door, Dad! Open the door, Pa! I freaking nailed it. Booyah! I'm being evicted. Good thing I'm gonna get that part. You can have your money and your mojo. Just as long as I can have your baby. <laughs> Ring. Do it, ring. Ring. Freaking ring. Do it for daddy. 
Ring. Ring. Come on, ring. 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 Just ring. 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 Jessica, how's it going? You know, kind of bored. Um, so the office sent me down here to see if you might reconsider their offer. Oh. Tell them I say thank you, but there's just no way that I can commit to doing this job full time. As it is, you guys may have to replace me in a heartbeat if I land a role. I knew you'd say that. You're just so dedicated to what you do. I guess that's just why you're such a great actor, huh? I'm gonna get going. See ya. Yeah. She was digging you, man. You're never gonna say nothing to her. Tom Cruise would go after her, goddammit. Hmm. Jessica! I forgot to say you had me at hello. What? I don't know, I'm just joking around. <laughs> I totally get it. It's from that movie, right? Yeah. Anyway, I gotta get back to my class. That's it? You just came running all the way out here to quote a line from a movie? Thought you might at least ask me out to dinner. Yeah. Sounds great. My treat. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. So, come and get me when you're done. Catch you later, Jessica. Tom Cruise, you did it again. Booyah! Great. This is gonna be friggin' expensive. Could I start you guys off with some of the drink, or are you ready to order? I think we're ready to order. Great. What can I get you? Um, I will get the Greek salad. And then I will have the New York steak and a glass of your house red bean. Fuck. Great choice. And for you, sir? I'll just have a glass of water and a lemon. Uh, and a glass of water with lemon for the job. Yeah. Are you not gonna get anything? Maybe in a bit. My stomach feels a bit weird. I had a huge lunch. So, I love what you've done with, uh... <laughs> well, uh... This is better than the cat's eye marble for an eye. That's what I would do too if I had a cat's eye marble for an eye. So Robert De Niro steps out of the cab and he says, get out of my way. And I'm thinking, right on. That's the way it's gotta be. You gotta know your path and not let anyone stand in your way. The man changed my life. Sounds like he was being an ass. Who, Robbie? No. He's a great guy. Um, would you mind if the waiter comes by, just let him know that I'm done? Sure. I'm just gonna run to the bathroom.
for that one first. Johnny, okay? John? John, are you okay? What? What? Oh. Is everything okay? God, I didn't even think I loved her. Now it's over. This is the worst. God, I wish it was Hugh Grant. Why'd you take off on me yesterday? Oh. Oh, John, are you okay? Oh. Why would you even agree to come out with me yesterday then? Because I like you. You complete me. John, I just wanted to call and see if you're feeling better. I thought I'd also mention how upset your students were when I told them you're off sick. They really like you. Everyone here does. You're just such a great teacher. Anyway, I just know you're going to get that part in L.A. And, and I'm just really going to miss you. Bye, John. Why? I'm not Johnny Depp or Brad Pitt or even Ben Affleck. I'm not any of them. I'm just me. Hello? Speaking. I got the part? I got the part. Um, just hold on a second. Look, I'm really sorry, but I actually just accepted another job offer. I'm going to be unable to do it. Thanks very much, though. Oh, come on! Oh, man! Peter Gabriel, how come you won't work for me now? John? Jessica, I'm sorry to bother you. 
But I wanted to tell you I'm going to take the full-time position. Why didn't you tell me all this at work tomorrow? I need to know if I stand a chance with you. With me? John, you're the only one that actually sees the real me. I've been so scared that you were going to get a gig and, and take off and... Well, I don't think I could quit you. Jessica, I feel like I'm just a boy standing in front of a girl, asking her to love him. Ditto. You know I'm dirt broke, right? That doesn't matter. I'm not. <laughs> now come on up here. I don't know how this worked or why, but maybe it has something to do with being yourself. Don't get me wrong, I love acting. But there's something special about being yourself. Anyway, I think no one's perfect. Everyone's incomplete, but that's okay because, John, well... John, are you talking to yourself again? What do you mean again? And so it was, the actor lived happily ever after with his true love, who happens only to have one eye. The end. So complete now, I feel alright. No more need to stand up and fight. Once accepted. time when I was so lost and afraid Without you beside me to guide my way But now I see the light and it's pointing toward you Looking back toward me and shining so true Bastard stole my lunch?